to dance some more for God. Hallelujah. Tonight we're moving from glory to glory. From glory to glory. That's my new name. From glory to glory. Hallelujah.
Let's lift him higher. Let's lift up our hands to the everlasting God, the ever living God, the one who is called the faithful God. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you for this beautiful, wonderful day that you have made. Wednesday, the 24th day of March, 2021. To God alone be all the glory. Let's lift up our hands. Let's lift him higher. Lift him higher. Lift him higher. To you be the glory, Father. Thank you for bringing us to this bright and beautiful day. Take all the glory. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Welcome to Wednesday, March the 24th day of the year in our Lord Jesus, of our Lord Jesus Christ, 2021. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. God made this day for you and I. And no devil can debahase, can stop your shining. No devil can stop your glorification this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. One more time, welcome to this beautiful day. Lift up your hands and say, thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' precious name. We have given thanks. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now this morning, brethren, everything God does is via his word. Acts 20, 32. And now, now, which is faith. Faith is now. And now, brethren, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. So, the word of God will locate you from the crowd, will separate you, give you your inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. So, this morning, let's go before God and say, Lord, I thank you for your 
goodness, mercy, and love. Let your word locate me and give me my inheritance this morning. I go for your word. Open my eyes to see that word. Open my ears in the spirit to hear. Open my spirit man to be sensitive to your word this morning. That's how my inheritance come. I take my inheritance via your word. I take and possess my inheritance via your word this morning. As the word comes this morning, let it deliver total inheritance to me this morning to the glory and the honor and the praise of your holy name in Jesus' precious name. We have given thanks. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, brethren, welcome one more time. Uh, this morning, we are streaming live on social media, YouTube, uh, Sonia Adeni Ministries, Facebook, Sonia Adeni Ministries on Facebook. If you haven't subscribed to the social, to YouTube, uh, Sonia Adeni Ministries, please subscribe. Click on the notification bell. If you haven't liked and followed the page, Sonia Adeni Ministries on Facebook, please like and follow the page and you'll be reminded every time we come along in Jesus' name. What is more, on the YouTube page is where we record everything that we're, we're going to do this morning, the word, the prayer, the declaration, they will all be contained in the YouTube channel, Sonia Adeni Ministries. So go, click on notification bell, and then subscribe. God bless you as you do in Jesus' name. And if you haven't liked and followed the page on Facebook, please do so in Jesus' name. Two more things to do, brethren. In the new normal evangelism way, <laughs> the new normal way of evangelism is electronic evangelism. How do you do that? Take this stream right now, this live stream, share it on your social media, share it on Instagram, share it on Facebook, reach out to your friends and family, invite them to join us. And then somebody's salvation, healing, deliverance, blessing shared this morning to them shall, be also, shall also be distributed to your heavenly account in the name of Jesus Christ. There is always joy in heaven over one soul that repents. So this morning, share somebody's salvation will be credited to your account in Jesus name and Lord this morning also I'll quickly go on Facebook and then um, I will just acknowledge those of us who are on Facebook and then go over to YouTube to acknowledge those on YouTube as we go to pray this morning on Facebook I do see Mama Betty Brown I do see our own dear Mama Fola mm, God bless you God bless you Mama Betty uh, I see uh, Mama El Kiba Trust, uh, I see Sister Chinwe Okolo, I see Sister Pat Abaleke Mwakama, I see Sister Sukaina Sheikh, I see Sister Jane Ifema Iruchalu, my bosom friend, Elder Tumi Adele Big Bay, I see Sister Nji Eze, um, I see Pastor Jude DK, I see Sister Juliet Ennis, uh, I see Sister Okpayemi Fasoiro, I see also Sister Eunice DK. I see Brother John Nduka. I see Sister Rachel showing your look. God bless you, ma'am. I see um, Sister Adebola Esson. God bless you, ma'am. I see Dickness Lola Adeleye. I see uh, Mama Betty Brown. I think I'm just repeating myself. I see Sister Liz Olaoye. God bless you. I see. Uh, Bule HM. Good morning. Welcome to Power to Triumph. I see you triumphing through this morning in the name of Jesus. And over to YouTube this morning, I do see uh, Sister Delcina Lee, Sister Sadie Lee Corey, uh, Sister Victoria Godwin, Sister Brother Tabe Bisong, Sister Sandra Dako, Mama Mary Chuku. Sister, oh, Mama Ch uh, Ayondu Chibu, Mama Chioma, God bless you, ma'am. Welcome back. The hand of the Lord rest on you in the name of Jesus. I see um, uh, Sister Glory um, Omona. I see Sister Rebecca Obioha, Sister Helen Uche, Minister Omomi Akintobi. I see Sister Dolakbo Omale. I see Sister Funke Adelibibe. I see Sister Margaret Frimpong. I see Sister Toya Coates Armstrong. I see Mama Florence Fasoiro. Sister Ahava and Kechi Ayola. Sister Claudia Calixt. Uh, Elder Samson Idehe. I see Sister Buki 
a lot job. Um, good morning. Welcome to Path to Triumph this day, Wednesday, the 24th day of March 2021. And I see the glory of God rest upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, God has prepared a word. I've put it on a slide. Three quick words as we go to pray this morning from John chapter 6, verses 48 to 56. Now, things were getting a little bit heated up with Jesus and the Jews here. Now, verses 48 to 50, uh, look at it. Jesus was saying, I am the true bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the desert and died. But standing here before you is the true bread that comes out of heaven. And when you eat this bread, you will never die. Let's take what I wrote. Jesus is the bread of life. Those who believe in him have life. The manna in the wilderness did not ultimately sustain life. Those who ate it eventually died because it could not provide everlasting life. Hmm. Jesus pre presented himself as a replica of the manna in the wilderness that sustained the Jews' physical life. But this time, spiritual manna that guarantees eternal spirit life for the partakers. This is what the communion represents. Woo! Glory to God. Now, brethren, get the communion ready in all the homes. And I do hope you are ready. I'm ready here. The communion represents the manna in the wilderness. Listen carefully. That manna sustained life in the physical. For 40 years that they were in the wilderness, they were sustained by the manna. But that's temporary. So Jesus is a, is a replica of that manna that took them physically in the, in, the, in the wilderness for 40 years. But now he is a spiritual manna. Jesus is no longer here, but is packaged in the communion for us today. The very life and flesh, the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ is packaged in the communion today. And that's why I say, anyone who eats my flesh will come to it and drinks my blood. We have eternal life, not the physical life that the Jews in the wilderness had for 40 years only. This life that Jesus gives is eternal. In other words, you die, you drop this body on earth, you continue in heaven. Nema, nema. So it extends from earth to heaven. In other words, when your time here on earth is over, there is a continuing home. There is a continuing home where your life continues. That's eternal life. And only Jesus can give it. Can I tell you? Only Jesus can give that eternal life. That's why somebody under the sound of my voice this morning, you need to belong to Jesus. Jesus needs to be the Lord of your life. That's the only way you can have that eternal life in the name of Jesus. So very shortly, we're going to be partaking of the flesh and, and blood. In verse 51, listen, this is what the scripture says in verse 51, John 6, 51. I alone... Look at, underline that word. Brethren, this is the truth. This is not religion. Only Jesus can give that eternal life. Nobody else died and has given you his flesh and blood to continue. No, nobody else died to give you his flesh and blood. Listen, I read again. I alone am this living bread that has come to you from heaven. Hebrew Surah. Eat this bread and you will live forever. The living bread I give you is my flesh or my body, which I offer as a sacrifice that, so that all may live. And in 1 Corinthians 11, 24, when the supper was instituted, here's what the Bible says, And gave thanks. Then he distributed it to the disciples and said, Take it and eat your field. Take it and eat. Eat your field. It is my body which is given for you. Do this to remember me. Tell me which other person ever did this. Died and said, take my flesh, eat it, and you will live forever. Jesus only. Jesus only. So, what is said to the Jews 
corroborated with what he did when he gave his disciples the communion. He said, take and eat this. This is my flesh. You will live forever. So the communion, which we partake of every day right now, is the life-giving sap. Is the life-giving spirit. It may look physical, like juice and wafers. But when we give thanks, the Bible says, I put up verse 24 again, he gave thanks. Then he distributed it to the disciples and said, Take it, your fill. It is my body. So, thanksgiving. That's why we say, Father, we thank you for the flesh and blood. Every time we thank God for the flesh and blood, it may look like wafer and juice in your hand, but it is turned to the flesh and the blood of Jesus Christ. So, please, never you ever, ever, ever joke with the communion. It's the instruction of the Holy Spirit partake of this every day until this evil disease is out of the way. So we will continue until Jesus come to partake of this flesh and blood in the name of Jesus daily for life to be given to us. And I can assure you, everyone who partakes of this, no death, no death, no, no matter how bad the devil works, he cannot pluck you from the hand of the Father. Hallelujah. To God alone be the glory. I'm, I'm being, there's, this, there's a move in the spirit this morning to terminate every hold of the enemy over anyone's life. Now, there's going to be uh, the, the, the enemy around your life that is planning and crawling to put sickness and terminate your life is going to be exposed this morning. The blood of Jesus exposes every agent of Satan around your life, around your home, around your career, around everything that belongs to you. Every agent of Satan, hear my voice right now. The blood of Jesus is against you. If you are ever, ever are against anyone under the sound of my voice, the blood of Jesus Christ exposes you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To God alone be all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, everyone who partakes of the flesh, so get the flesh and blood of Jesus ready this morning. Via this flesh and blood, every agent of Satan shall be exposed. Whatever plan the enemy has against your life goes back on their head sevenfold in the name of Jesus. So if it's water and wafers, please get it close to you right now as we partake of it in Jesus' name. One more scripture this morning as we go to pray. And that is from verses 52 to 56. Here's what the scripture says. Verse 52 to 56. These words of Jesus sparked an angry outburst among the Jews. Is the devil behind it. Listen. Every time you see uncontrolled anger, the devil is behind it. Listen to me. Take it, take it to the bank. Every time there is an uncontrolled anger, as these Jews were angry, it's from the gate of hell. Because <laughs> the Bible says, Anger rests in the bosom of a fool. That's what the scripture says in the book of uh, uh, Proverbs. So, brethren, let's finish up this word as we go to pray. These words of Jesus sparked an angry outburst among the Jews. They protested, saying, Does this man expect us to eat his body? <laughs> Is he a witch? Is he expecting us to eat his body? Jesus replied to them, Listen to this eternal truth. Unless, and I love Jesus, he put it, push it down their throats. Unless you eat the body of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will have no eternal life. Hallelujah. Eternal life comes to the one who eats my body and drinks my blood. And I will raise him up in the last day. For my body is real food for your spirit and my blood is real drink. Look at it. Food for the spirit. So what we are talking about this morning is not in the physical. It may look physical, but it goes to your spirit. It is a prohatika. Let's finish that word. Uh, my body is real food for your spirit. My blood is real drink. Hallelujah. So the one who eats my body and drinks my blood lives in me, and I live in him. To God alone be all the glory. Let's take the last uh, word that I wrote there as we go to pray. Uh, the Jews got it all wrong when Jesus talked about his flesh as the bread. They were more aggravated and angry. Here, Jesus says, you've, you've eaten of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It led to your fall. That's in the garden. Now, eat of me, the tree of life. Hallelujah. Internalize me. 
Allow me to come into the deepest recess of your being. Allow me to take control of your life and you will live. This is a mystery of the kingdom. So I want to pray for somebody this morning. You want to give your heart to Jesus. You want to say, Jesus, be the Lord of my life. And uh, I'm going to pray for you. If you are there, place your right hand on your chest and say with me, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart this morning. Save me and wash me with your precious blood. From this day, I believe you died to give me eternal life. I received that eternal life this morning. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. If you just pray that prayer, I announce you born again. <laughs> I pronounce you born again. That's what the Bible says. John 3, 3, John 3, 16, John 3, 5. That's what the Bible says. You just became. John 1, 12. As many as received him to them, gave you power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Congratulations. You just got born again. I had the same experience uh, in the year 1984, 37 years ago. To God alone be all the glory. And I welcome you to the kingdom on behalf of Jesus Christ this morning, the head of the church in Jesus' precious name. Congratulations and welcome into the kingdom in Jesus' name. Now, to God alone be all the glory. All you need to do is press on here, connect to this channel every day, listen to the word of God, pray to Jesus, study his word, and I can tell you the power of God rest on you in Jesus precious name. Now let's partake of this life-giving sap and spirit. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the communion of the flesh and blood. You gave this to us for healing of our bodies, for eternal life. Everyone under the sound of my voice who is presenting their communion table to you right now, I bless it. I thank you for it and I bless it in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, and I call it the communion of the flesh and blood of Jesus, the communicator of life to us. Thank you, Father. Everyone who partakes of this right now, every satanic incursion in their life is exposed. Every demonic influence around them is exposed. In the name of Jesus, I terminate it, Rada Hataga, every satanic incursion, and I command it to go back to hell sevenfold. In Jesus' name, let's partake of it. Hallelujah. To God alone the glory, the flesh. The blood. Now take this and rub it all over you. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus all over me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So God alone be all the glory. You are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. In Jesus name. The power of God stays in you. Goes in you right now. Exposes every area of them. Anything hiding or growing in your body. Which cannot be found in, in Christ. Says Zika. Now I can see someone. I can see someone in the spirit. There is a growth in the right part of your stomach. Inside. Kali prahate katata daba. Every time you pull your flesh, you can feel that lump. Pedi katara katata By the blood of Jesus, I command you lump. Get out of the way. Every growth in your body, which is contrary to the word of God, I curse you. You are an agent of Satan. Lose your grip and get out of there. I cast you back to hell where you came from. Sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are free. Check your body. The power of God has gone through right now. The blood of Jesus Christ has prevailed for you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Congratulations. Glory be to God. Lift up your hand and give glory to Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory for terminating that hold of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Now, brethren, it is time for personal supplication. Prayer request and praise reports. I will be leading us in personal supplication. But do you have a prayer request? Do you have a praise report? Please type it out right now in Jesus' name. There is a scripture in John chapter 6. We just read it. 53 and 54 we are going to use to pray. It says, Jesus replied to them, Listen to this eternal truth. Unless you eat the body of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have eternal life. That's so raw and direct. Eternal life comes to the one who eats my body and drinks my blood, and I will raise him up the last day. So we're going to pray like this. Father, in the name of Jesus, take full control of my life, spirit, soul, and body. Let your flesh and blood that I drink and eat daily make me more like you. Hallelujah. Are you willing to pray that prayer? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, take full control of my life, spirit, soul, and body. Let your flesh and blood that I eat and drink 
daily make me more like you i want to be more like you jesus i want to be more like you more of you more of you jesus every day as i eat your flesh and i drink your blood let it make me more like you say harabaroro are you willing to be more like jesus let's ask right now masupra hateke te katatayada rebodu silikatade i'm immersed in the flesh and blood of jesus the flesh and blood of jesus is immersed in me and i and you jesus are one i partake of your flesh i partake of your blood in the name of jesus let your full image be seen in me let your image let everyone who sees me see christ in the name of jesus make me more like you every day Kaziro hotabayaka tambo hoti katete kata radaba baba radaba radaba receive that grace to be more like jesus every day of your life as you partake of his flesh as you commune with him as you have fellowship with jesus may you be more like him every day thank you father we give you praise and glory in jesus precious name we have prayed amen if you just pray that prayer the hand of the lord rests upon you and every day you'll be looking more like jesus in your acts in your life in jesus precious name amen now i see yes thank you mama El keep trust you said it rightly more of you more i want to grow and know hallelujah sister lillian and some say pray for my job whatever it is about your job whether a new job whether a promotion whether whatever you are asking for in the name of jesus receive it right now we join force with you and agree in the spirit that job is delivered to you you are promoted on that job open doors for you on every side in the name of jesus christ hallelujah to god alone be all the glory in the name of jesus christ so if you have a prayer request uh, i see sister delcina say i dig in the name of jesus i declare healing on my daughter sunday left foot in jesus name yeah we decree over sunday's left foot healing deliverance yoke broken bodies destroyed give her the communion this morning the power of god goes to work for her in the name on her in the name of jesus now mama chama chebuka says i thank god so much for his faithfulness him alone who granted me safe journey to nigeria and back hallelujah to god alone be the glory in the name of jesus mama mary chuku your health cannot fail please do not say my health is failing no it cannot fail you cannot be on this platform you cannot be with the one who won victory for you and your health is failing your health is not failing your health is passing is passing and the glory of god rests upon you we decree i decree over you right now in the name of jesus whatever the enemy planted in you i will put it by the blood of the lamb in jesus name you partook of the blood if you didn't do it please partake of that blood right now that blood specifically was meant to remove everything that the enemy is putting in your health in the name of jesus you are healed i call you healed i call you healed in the name of jesus i call you healed you are healed and delivered in jesus name thank god for uh, that word oh look at that testimony from mama victoria Bayomi. i thank god for divine healing to god alone be all the glory to god alone be all the glory thank you jesus for healing mama glory and honor and praise to your holy name in jesus precious name we have prayed amen now if you still have prayer requests yes yes bro john duca we overcame by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony yes hallelujah now brethren uh if you still have um if you still have prayer requests please report type it out there while we quickly take our daily protection covenant from psalm 91 if you are ready as i am let us go right now let's go because i dwell in the secret place of the most high i shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Almighty, Ah, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with His feathers and under His wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fly by day nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me. Only with my eyes shall I behold, and see the wicked rewarded, 
because I have met the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling, for God shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways, they shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone, I shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shall I trample under feet, because I have set my love upon God, Therefore will he deliver me. He will set me on high because I have known his name. I shall call upon him. He will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will God satisfy me and show me his salvation. So shall it be for me and my household today and forever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. That is your portion today and forever in Jesus' name. I see a prayer request from Mama Elikiba Trust. I need God's, uh, God's will alone in my student's life. Yes, the will of the Lord will be done in the life of every of your children in the name of Jesus. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 16 says, And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord. All your children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be their peace in the name of Jesus. I declare this morning over everyone here who is asking, Lord, over my children, cover them. They are covered with the blood of Jesus. They will do only the will of God. No devil will steal any of your children from around you, physically or spiritually, in the name of Jesus. They will obey God and do the will of God all the days of their life. They have no choice in Jesus' precious name. We have prayed and agreed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah to God alone. Be all the glory in Jesus' precious name. Now this morning, a couple of announcements uh, before we shut down. Um, brethren, to um, one more time, <laughs> Total Woman Conference 2021. Woo-hoo! Glory to God. April the 23rd to 25th. Now, heaven... Heaven is attention over this program. It's at attention over this program. So, and everyone living under the sound of my voice, be at attention. There is something God is about to do. Broken Vessels, the title, it's a virtual, virtual conference. Uh, some will be on land in the church and some will be online. So, please go ahead and register. Sister Eunice DK, thank you so much for doing this. She has posted the Facebook link. Though for those of us on Facebook, just click on it to register right now. Say you are attending and share on your page to invite. Also, the Eventbrite uh, link is also put there. Click on it and then register in both places. God bless you as you do so. Line up of powerful women of God is going to be a great time and ministers as well. God bless you as you prepare for this. Also, brethren, today at Joy Overflow, International Church is our Bible study and communion service. Now, can I say to someone who has not been in church for a long time, please don't miss this tonight. Can I appeal to you? I don't know why the Spirit is stressing this. Don't miss the Bible study tonight. You've not been in church for a long time. I don't know who I'm talking to, but please don't miss this Bible study tonight. It's communion service. The title is Kingdom Servanthood Part 3 and then 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. For those of us who are in town, please, it's at 2013 Joy Overflow International Church, 2013 39 Avenue Northeast. Uh, and for those of us who are not in town, you can join us via the live stream on Facebook, Joy Overflow International Church or uh, YouTube, Sonny Adeni ministries channel on youtube god bless you as you do so we are come fasting is a day that we fast and pray you do the bible says this kind go up not but by fasting and prayer so whatever kind is refusing to go fast and pray today join us online as we deal with that devil in the name of jesus christ hallelujah it's going to be the most awesome day of your life as you join us online tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, uh, to God alone be all the glory. What is more? We had a water baptism yesterday. It was powerful. A couple of people who came to be water baptized. And then we had the membership class. To God alone be all the glory. If you are desirous of it, uh, just watch out for the next time that we do that. To God alone be all the glory for his faithfulness. I see this day go well 
for you because you have honored God this day. The hand of the Lord God rests upon you. His glory covers you this day in the name of Jesus. No lack, no need in the name of Jesus. From this day forward, God's glory will rest upon your entire household in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, with Jesus' joy this morning, shall we together share the covenant? Let's go. God will show me the path of life, for in his presence is the fullness of my joy. And at his right hand, I my pleasures forevermore. Peace, love, and joy. Share the second one out loud. Shout it out loud. My glory is here. No loss, no pain, no shame. No loss, no pain, no shame for you in Jesus' name. And finally, I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. Let's take it one more time. I am waiting for your testimony. What do you say? I shall testify in Jesus' name. God bless you. This day go well for you. You receive the power to triumph. Go and triumph and produce your testimony this day in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Glory to God.